Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through one more problem on NPV, net present value. So basically in the question, he gave some small trick guys. So calculate the NPV for the project, which requires the initial investment of 20,000 and which involves a net cash inflow of 6,000 per year. Per each year, he gave directly 6,000 and at 8% per annum is 6 point, sorry, 4.623. So he gave in terms of, he didn't give any table, he gave in terms of words. So indirectly he gave cash inflow is 20,000 and net cash inflow is 6,000. Okay. Sorry, this is cash outflow guys, 20,000 which we need to invest and net cash inflow is 6,000. So he gave all the values in the question itself, but we need to find the value first of net present value, right? Okay. So net present value, we know the formula is nothing but present value of cash inflow minus cash outflow. So we don't know the value of present cash inflow. We know only the net cash inflow. So we are having a formula that is nothing but net cash inflow into the percentage guys. So 6000 into 8% for 6 years. So for 6 years it is nothing but he gave 4.623. So 6000 into 4.623 is nothing but 27,738. So once you subtract this from your initial investment 20,000, you're gonna get 7,738. So you are running in profit after 6 years. So this will be the missionary which we will be accepting. I told you, if you are considering only a single machine and if you get positive value, then you will be accepting it. So this is, you got positive value, so we need to accept it. So this is a simple problem guys, but this is the important thing that you should remember. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through one more problem on NPV guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.